How do you get your rope back? This question is asked frequently when I show my emergency reptile techniques. This is mainly because these techniques are used for emergencies. And in an emergency, usually you just want to attach the rope somewhere, get down to safe ground, and then, yeah, you are out of the emergency and the rope will stay there, it's gone, you don't need it anymore. In training, of course, you can just walk back up and remove the rope. But now, let's talk about some options how you can make this whole setup retreatable. At first, let's talk about the anchor. If you just attach the rope and leave it there, friction on the anchor is not a big problem. But if you want to pull down the rope, friction on every edge and so on can be a problem. Also, some furniture in the room is a potential hazard for the rope to get stuck. So there you really have to be careful that you can easily pull the rope, because usually you pull it down. So yeah, for the anchor construction, you can use slings and just make the anchor longer so it's closer to the exit. Then you can just place your rope in here. Now you can repel on both strands, but this is not meant for lowering because this is fatal. A weighted rope moving works like a saw and then this sling will be cut within some meters. So just this, repel on both strands, then pull down the rope and then the sling stays up there. So possibly it's around a broomstick or a door or some furniture or whatsoever. But with this, you have been able to retreat the rope. Yeah, also an option is to use quick links. Now with this quick link, you have the option to lower someone, but then I possibly would choose a bigger quick link. Or you just repel on both strands. And if you pull down the rope, the quick link also stays up there, but you have less friction. And if you build a anchor with some cord and have a big knot, possibly this is a better choice because all the friction adds up to some point. So this is our one anchor point. Secondly, let's talk about the rope setup. So we have some options. I have already shown the first option. It's just doubling up the rope. If you use a fully rated rope like this 11 millimeter static line, yeah, it's a lot of volume. If you know you use double strand, you can use these high-tech cords. For example, this is the Beal backup line. It's a five millimeter high-tech cord. And this with a mantle hitch is a super nice double strand repel option. And as soon as you are on the ground, you just need to pull and pull it down. Yeah, Beal backup line. There's also the Petzl red line and the Edelried wrap line. Yeah, most come in fancy outdoor colors or you use high strength accessory cord like Aramid cord. It comes in 5.5 millimeters or 6 millimeters with a breaking strength of around 15 or 18 kilonewtons. And you can also use this and then it's black. A big advantage of using just a rope is that you have no knots and nothing, so it's less likely to get stuck. So yeah, doubling up the rope is option number one. Second option is to use a tag line. So this can be a super small thin cord and you use your fully rated rope or escape rope, whatever you want. You just place this through the quick link, super nice. Also again, Good if it's close to the edge. You just connect this with like a double overhand with a long enough tail, for example. And now this double overhand gets stuck up here. You can normally repel on your fully rated rope. And then when you are down, you can pull on the small tag line and pull the rope down. So there is somewhere the end. Yeah, this is uh, using a tag line quite nice to have the big line to repel on and a super compact one to pull down the rope. An obvious disadvantage of the tag line is when you pull you have a knot in the rope which can get stuck somewhere. The next option I want to show is the Beal Escaper. This is a device that can be used to retreat a rope or a single rope system. I've made a dedicated video to this some years ago. Let's just remove this sling it's still good if you use this on an anchor with a quick link or a carabiner. It's quite a fancy cool thing. There are several videos out there about it. You have 
some Dyneema sling, which works almost like a, yeah, or works like a friction hitch and holds onto this rope. And you have an elastic piece which allows you to retreat this. So now you have this loop here. You can even use devices which are not made to be retreatable or just your standard single rope system. Now I just put my weight on it and it can repel like normally on, yeah, on one rope. So now I'm on the ground and now there comes the nice function of this thing. The friction hitch gets loosened by the elastic part in here and if you pull repeatedly your tail slowly slides through and now it's almost done and then the whole system comes down. So yeah, nice option. And again, the disadvantage of the Beat Escaper is you have all this stuff running over edges and everything here can get stuck somewhere. But yeah, that's the last option I want to show to retreat your rope. Let's do an example. I just used this door behind me as an anchor. You can also use tables or other furniture for this. Now for an attached rope, I could just sling the rope around. But since I want to be able to pull it down, I use a sling. This is a 240 centimeter sling, so super nice length. Now I'm in the next room. There's my exit. My sling ends behind this edge. I want to avoid friction, so I attach a second sling. Here I attach my screw link to have even less friction. And now my anchor point is this here. So yeah, when I'm down, I will pull the rope through this quick link and then the quick link and the two links will stay up here. So it's good if you have some material to leave behind or if the rope is long enough, you could also cut a piece of rope and build this anchor up here. So here's my rope. Close the screw link. Of course, I attach the backup just for extra safety. And I'll go close to the window. Now I use that old jacket as edge protection. Then I use a manta hitch because with such thin cords a lot of repel devices don't really work. And the manta hitch works quite well, even when the rope gets holed up, which is nice for the transfer over the edge to the outside. I am extra careful not to shock load the system because this thin line is super static and the anchor is from questionable quality. Now making sure there are no tangles and no knots in the rope. And then I pull on one side. So here's my rope. And this is one option to get your rope back. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe if you want to see more like this. Thanks.